Hi, my name is Makasi, and it is currently 10 a.m. <laughs> I just woke up. I saw the text message from USPS saying my package has been delivered. I haven't opened this yet, so I know what's inside, but I haven't opened it yet. So truly, truly, this is the first impression. So as you can tell by the box, the thumbnail, and the title, we have GeoBasket. And here we go. This is just the tag. If you want to know what it looks like. Yeah. I'm very low on energy right now. I just woke up. It's been a long week at work, but I wanted to film this right away. So it truly is my first impression. So. Oh, oh, oh. These are beautiful. Oh, sorry, out of frame, my bad. These are beautiful. Let's take it all out first. Okay, so in the box, you get the usual tote bag. You get this thing right here, just telling you about the leather. If you want to take a screenshot and look at it real quick. There we go. If you want to look at it real quick, I'll talk about it more in the review. You get extra laces, which is always nice, pink laces. And then the tote bag. But... We're here for the boots. I mean the shoes. We're here for the shoes. There we go. What do you guys think? Uh, this is the Rick Owens Geo Basket Pink Suede. Was not my first choice. Ideally, I would have gotten the leather. I'll talk about it more, but so far. Oh, I do not like that at all. Look at this bad stitching. Can you see? That is not good at all. Quality control could be better. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know why, but I'm very bothered by the pink stitches over the white. That's just not good. Anyway, um these oh um i grabbed my kiss boot just so i can compare the height so let's talk about that real quick because i wanted to know how big it truly is so it's actually not that big you know i mean okay if you were coming from regular footwear to the geo basket then yes i could see why but since i already own so many big footwear it doesn't seem that big and the main features as to why I got it, this right here, the big tongue. I've always liked it. Um, okay, let me talk about the suede real quick. So far, it feels pretty good, sturdy. Feels not soft at all, so it feels very rugged. I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe it's just like the suede that's been sitting in the box for too long. Um, leather. The leather feels, leather feels good. Rick Owens leather is always amazing. I don't like this though, this material. It's very rough. But the interior is fully padded, which is always nice. Um, zippers. Let's talk about the zipper. These are Rick Owens Rakagni zipper. They're always good. This is going to be great. Um, let's see. Let me show you this tag right here. This is just... Telling you what size it is, where it's made. Oh, one more time. Let me show you the leather. I mean, the yeah, suede leather up close. Yeah, these are very nice. Honestly, I'm very impressed by the suede. But look. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see all this? Could be better. Come on, Rick. <coughs> um, is it removable? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it feels. This is not good. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Honestly, I expected higher graded um, insole because let me show you my. Doc Martin insole. Do you see how <laughs> it just looks so flimsy? Come on. 
come on Rick you can do better than this I mean somebody wore this and then return it obviously I don't know if they wore it outside um I don't think so it doesn't look like somebody wore it but come on look at this <laughs> that is so so bad uh Rick so, um, I should mention, I'm not I'm not so sure about the suede because I'd much rather have the leather, but I know for sure I'm very I know for sure um, I'm very positive that I like the pink because I knew from day one, no, well, not really, I knew that I don't need any more black footwear, so I was like, I want something that pop, and ideally I would have gotten this version instead, but this was on sale, and I was like, you know what? That's okay. Oh, something interesting that I can show you right now. Uh, do you see these laces? They have like a pink hues to it. That's cute. Maybe it's just like all oh, the suede dripping down, you know? Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I expect the review and all that, you know, soon, but first impression. I am, I'm not underwhelmed, but I'm not overwhelmed either because these, these shoes, these, this is one of those items when you first get into fashion, when you first get into a rig that you dream about owning and I finally got a pair, which is nice, but to go from this to this, it's a bit underwhelming, it's supposed to be the opposite, it's supposed to get this first and then the kiss boots, so I mean, I'm not not impressed, like I really like it, but the height doesn't intimidate me as much as it would if I were to come from a regular Adidas Stan Smith to this, but yeah, I'm gonna start testing it, wearing it, see how I feel, but there is a high chance that I return this because I'm still unsure about the suede, because when you have suede product, you can't really wear it in the winter. It's just gonna get fucked up. Get wet in the snow and the rain. And with how I am with my sneakers, I, I'm gonna get them fucked up. Cause I want I want them to be pretty much all terrain, you know. So let me just shut up real quick and just show you what it looks like. Yeah, let's just end this video. I'm just very low on energy right now. I'm just gonna spin the shoes around a few times. You guys can look at it. Let me know what you think in the comment.